Universal Energies, it's your girl, Taurus Takeover. Here to do a quick reading for my Geminis. Yeah, Geminis, y'all energy was coming up strong. Um, even when I was shuffling the cards, y'all energy just kept coming up. So, I said, let's do Gemini. They need a word, so here we go. Gemini, you could be looking at something... Right, I, I get two stories here, so y'all know which one is y'all. Some of y'all looking at like a situation, and you probably be saying you don't you don't think you have enough, right? It could be you don't have enough money, or um, you like I'm gonna figure this out. I want this, but this ain't working the way I want it to. Um, and you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, and you're trying to put the emotions behind you and you really do because I pulled advice for you, Gemini. So here we go. Advice mode. So you, you need to put the emotions behind you and look at what you're really working with because what you're working with, it just might not be enough. Um, you may be new to a situation, um, new person, new job, new money new love, whatever, something new, right? Something young, but exciting, energetic, but something about it is just might not be enough. So you got to look at it realistically. All right. You got the four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. So you, you are guided to really do some heavy searching, right? Some thinking, some meditating, some praying, really clarifying what it is you need to do for the next moves you need to make. You need to think about things that's been said, um, you know, ideas, uh, any messages, you know, that you may be put out or that may be coming in. You really need to think those through, but I'm getting strong vibes that you, you know, probably need to pray. All right. You need to tap into that spiritual realm. All right. That is heavy in your reading. So y'all could be dealing with like female energy right it could be a mother energy or a grandmother energy or you know like a wife or a girlfriend or something like that um or just you know or it could be some type of religious you know some of y'all not all of y'all but some type of religious thing but you need to tap in gemini because we got the temperance card here you could be dealing with sagittarius it doesn't have to be but this is the energy you need to take on some of y'all, some drinky booze. Ooh, I see y'all be drinking. But y'all need to balance it. Like, I always say it. Nobody likes a sloppy drunk, okay? So you need to balance the drinking if you're doing that. But also, mainly, you want to balance your emotions. So if you've been, you know, in this mode, thinking, trying to figure, you know, you like, how am I going to do this? I got to figure this out. Oh, I'm thinking, da, 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 da. You forever thinking, 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 trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, some of y'all need to read some books on, um mindset mindset and keep yourself protected at all times keep yourself protected at all times okay now back to the temperance card so some of y'all need to balance your emotions um like i said before you this is the time to put the emotions behind you right you almost gotta what he doing step into the motion you step into the emotion but you don't let it control you you keep your cool you keep your calm all right some of y'all need to tap into or align your crown and heart chakra go google it c-h-a-k-r-a -A. get it aligned clear it up balance your emotions balance drinking with what's really going on with life and what i'm seeing here that is if you tap into your spirituality like meditate Pray. These two are strong on meditation. So if you like meditate and pray and tap into your spiritual realm, I see that things are really going to take off for you. And you say, what things? Well, whatever it is you desire. Is it love? Do you want to 
share your love with someone, but you don't think you have them enough. You coming up as a page. Are you trying to save her? What they say? Don't save her. <laughs> I ain't saying don't save her, but I'm just saying, I don't know why that came to me. I be tripping sometimes. But anyway, and for you women, you know, it's the same thing. Like, whatever it is you desire, is it love you want? Is it stability? Is it emotional stability? But whatever it is you want or desire, um, some of you could want your kids to be straight too. The page could come up as kids, you know. Um, I ain't really getting that vibe, but I got to put it out there. Some of you could want your kids to be straight trying to figure out, you know, something you done said to them or something you want to say to them and you haven't said it yet. So before you do that, you want to get your mind right. When you, when you step to somebody, whether it's a child, a job opportunity, a woman, a man, yourself. You want to step to yourself or that other person, right? You want to come correct. So in order for you to come as correct as you could for the maximum results, for that takeoff that you desire, you got to tap into your spirituality. You can't run from it. But it's a balance because you have to put the emotions behind you, but at the same time, you got to deal with the emotion. You deal with it. You look at it realistically. You think about it, pray about it, meditate on it. Yeah, and that's what you're going to get. Uh, well, not that's what you're going to get. You're going to get maximum growth when you do it this way. Okay, you're going to ascend to new heights uh, spiritually as well as uh, in your mental, you know, your thought process. The clarity that you'll receive about your life and about love. Um, and just, you know, what to do with your finances. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to go over the cards one more time and see if there's any final messages. You know, keep everything pure, uh, Gemini. Keep it pure. Keep your heart pure. Keep your thoughts pure because you get what you think about, right? But remember, you can't force people to do what you want them to do. My thing is I tell people I only want willing participants, willing participants only in my life. I'm not finna make nobody do nothing. I'm not finna do no damn spells on a, nobody to keep nobody. What the hell is that? What the fuck you want to do that for? Excuse me. I hope they don't ban my um, page for that. But that's just real talk. Why the hell would you want to keep somebody that don't want you? You want them to want you the way you want them. It should be mutual desire. So don't make nobody do nothing, Gemini, um, that they don't want to do or enforce them. Um, do what I do, baby. Only willing participants. In my life, and I do that for business, relationships, everything. Only willing participants. I ain't convincing nobody or nothing. I ain't doing none of that. Um, you know why? Because I'm spiritually aligned. Because I tap in every day. And when you tap in, you don't need no goddamn body's advice or what they think. It only matters what you think. Because you know what? You're going to look out what's best for you. And once you do that, you're going to make sure everybody else is straight. Those that really, you know, that you really rock with, that you really care for. But you got to get you first. You got to get your mind and heart and money and your spirituality right first. You can't do that for nobody until you do that for yourself. So, dang, Gemini, why y'all have me go in like that? <laughs> y'all need to wake up for real. Um, but yeah, Gemini, that's what I see. Um, growth is here. I know y'all ready to shine, but you got to tap into your spirituality. That's the key to your success right there. That's the key. That's the key, Gemini. So, this has been your reading. Make sure y'all subscribe if you already have and you're a loyal supporter. I thank you. 
And if you new subscriber, welcome. Thank you. And I always end these readings the same way. Share some love. Share some light. Enjoy your life. And I will see you Gemini's in the next video.